guys so today we are gonna be going over the best ball player builds in MLB the show 21 now ball player is probably the only or one of the only topics that the company San Diego Studios left really confusing I know a lot of you guys don't know how to get your player diamond he looks like he's a 65 overall bronze card in your lineup and you're like how do I get the diamond one well I'll answer all of those questions here in this video and I'll tell you guys the best overpowered builds that you guys are gonna want to do because there's a lot of different builds you guys can do and uh, you guys might be really confused I know a lot of you guys probably are so I'd appreciate it if you drop a like on the video and make sure you do hit that subscribe button and let's get into everything ball player all right guys so let's get into the ball player so if you guys have been living under a rock and don't know how to get to the ball player screen well you go up to your emblem and you press a or X or whatever that is on Xbox I think it's a so then you come over to your loadout and I'm going to show you guys kind of the best archetype and the best ones you guys want to go with because a lot of these they don't really show you what it leads to and no one knows how to get a catcher and all of this so I'll answer all of the questions here so the best builds that you guys are going to want to go with now if you guys don't know there is a ball player glitch where you can sim a lot of games and get stats from just simming those games now I'm not going to be going over the ball player glitch in this video because I have done the ball player glitch a thousand times already so what you want to do is uh, I'll put that ball player glitch above me right now but you guys are gonna want to watch that video so you can learn how to pretty much get a free diamond 99 overall on your diamond dynasty squad because you can use this guy on your diamond dynasty squad so I'll show you guys how to get the best archetypes but if you want to know how to do the glitch that will be in the description in the comment section and above me like I said but anyways guys so the best archetypes you guys are gonna want to go with on MLB The Show 21 is the spark plug. And it pretty much speaks for itself. Look at the spark plug. It's a, it's a baseball bat hitting a baseball. So that pretty much tells you it is the best hitting archetype. So uh, spark plug is gonna be the best hitting archetype. It focuses on contact, power, vision. And as you upgrade it, you can focus on different things as well. So I'll kind of run you guys through the spark plug and a couple of other uh, archetypes. So as you look at the spark plug, I chose spark plug and then I moved over to slugging spark plug now this one focuses on contact vision and power as well just like the bronze spark plug and after you progress through the bronze and silver spark plug you will get the gold hawk now the gold hawk is a primary shortstop but as you guys can see right there it says preferred position shortstop catcher first base second base etc you can play this player at every single position in this game except for pitcher the Hawk, in my opinion, is the one that you guys, if you're looking for the best hitter, you're going to want to go with Spark Plug and the Hawk because everything that I have seen so far in this game has led me to see that the Hawk Spark Plug is the best archetype. Now, big shout out to Simply Boss and another guy on Twitter. I forgot his name. Sorry, but I'll put you down in the description, my guy. But anyways, the Hawk is still really, really good. And you guys are going to run, run with this one because I actually found that from those two gentlemen on Twitter around the first week of this game so the hawk moves to diamond as well where you guys will finally be able to progress him up and get all of these extra perks here which if you guys don't know how to get perks you do get those while finishing up these programs as you guys can see right here but the hawk is a really good build it gives you the best hitting stats now my guy is an 85 overall because i haven't done too much grinding in a while since i've gotten to gold or diamond archetype so as you play road to the show you will be able to progress progress your player up and I'll show you how you guys can do that because you still need to progress your player to get him up on Diamond Dynasty if you don't play Road to the Show your player is not going to go up as much as you see some of these other people's ball players so as we look at my guy's stats here if you press square or whatever that is on Xbox I have no fucking clue you'll look at all of his hitting stats now I've got 81 plus 26 76 plus 26 all of my hitting stats are above 100 my vision is above 100 my speed is like 86 and my fielding is in the 90s or around 90 I think it's 92 or 90 so pretty much guys uh, look at my guys stats they're really good the spark plug will be a 
able to play at all positions. Now, you guys might be asking, how do I get my ball player on my Diamond Dynasty squad? Well, you come over here to activate, and of course, you'll press you'll press A or X on that, whatever that is on Xbox. Uh, a, it's A, right? Why am I tripping? I think it's A. And then you'll come over here to your Diamond Dynasty squad, and you'll put him on. He'll be a 65 overall bronze. Now, I see a lot of questions asking, how do I get my Diamond ball player? Well, guys, this is your Diamond ball player. His stats look like shit right here, but when you get into the game, his stats will be all up to par. So if I went to play versus CPU or even in any game mode, if you're ever using your ball player, his stats will correlate to the equipment and all of the other stuff being added. So I'll show you guys right now what that will look like when we get in game. Here. All right, as you guys can see my ball player, he has 100 hitting stats, 100 vision, 86 speed, and 90 fielding. Now I could use an upgrade on the arm, but I'm going to have to play Road to the Show and upgrade my arm in Road to the Show, unfortunately, to get him better. So, yes, it's confusing, but I'm going to try to answer all questions and show you guys the best archetypes. So, we'll go back to those archetypes in a second, but the kid Trout right here, his stats will correlate up to his equipment and perks once you get in the game. So, I'm not going to go in game here, but if you guys are wondering how to get some really good free equipment, you're going to want to come over to single player game modes, Conquest, and go down to the Jackie Robinson 42 map. So, if I show you the goals here or I can't get to the goals because I finished the map oh yes I can so as you guys can see here you get a free diamond cleats you get a uh, you get more stuff jerseys you get something else here you get a lizard skin which this is another equipment you can use you get a diamond bat as well and you get diamond socks so you pretty much get the whole you get the whole thing here and you get a, a, a nice bat skin here as well so guys you're gonna want to finish up this one game against the Dodgers on the 42 Jackie Robinson map to get all of that equipment because I am pretty much using all Jackie Robinson equipment and obviously legendary call and stuff like that so as we go back into the ball player here you see the Hawk he's really good and I really suggest you guys to go spark plug move your guy to slugging spark plug use the Hawk gold and diamond Hawk is the really one of the best ones I've seen probably the best one so if you guys have seen anything better let me know down below in the comment section but I've also found that Iron Man is a really good build as well because if you guys are trying to be a catcher obviously I move up to 91 overall on this build because uh, I don't know why I, I honestly don't know why I move up to 94 oh I think my fielding is a lot better that's why but as we look at this build here he looks really good as well he's got really good speed he's got really good power he's got really good uh, contact and vision and really good fielding so it's pretty much maxed out fielding on this build once I get all of my arm maxed up on road to the show obviously it'll look a little bit different here but as you see Iron Man is another really good build now once they patch catcher catcher is currently broken on diamond dynasty i'm sorry guys it's broken so for those of you guys wondering uh how to get your guy a catcher and for him to stop dropping baseballs well it's broken they need to patch that but if you guys are wondering another good one is iron man now iron man starts off as the slugging or no it starts off as slick fielding and then I moved over to Slugging Slickster. And then after that, I moved over to Iron Man. Now this is where it gets interesting. Iron Man has a really good building power, all good hitting stats, really good building. So El Mago, actually this focuses on speed, power, and fielding. This is kind of like a Javi Baez type build. So uh, it is a Javi Baez type build. I believe his nickname is El Mago. So uh, El Mago is really good as well at Iron Man. So after you progress through Slick Fielding, you will get the choice between uh, Iron Man and El Magro. Both of these are really good. This is another really good archetype build, which you guys can choose whichever one you want to be. But I'm telling you right now, the best hitting one, if you want your guy, if all you care about is your guy to hit a ball 669 feet to dead center field, you're probably going to want to go with Spark Plug. He's got the best power vision. He's got the best hitting stats. So you'll be able to get really good hitting stats with El Mago and Iron Man, but it's not going to look the same. So you'll want to eventually work towards the Hawk here. Iron Man is still really good if you want to have that building maxed all the way out everything 99 and El Mago will actually be very good as well good fielding good power good uh, speed as well so I really like El Mago the tool shed is another one that is decent as well kind of like El Mago from the Hawk but you also get to focus on speed contact and power here so the Hawk actually focuses on contact power and fielding as you guys can see right there so um, you guys will get this as well from when you're doing the 
the spark plug build, but I would, like I said, go with the Hawk. That is the best one in my opinion. Now, El Mago Iron Man are very good as well. I've also seen some people rocking with cheese. Now, cheese, you can throw sidearm and throw 100 miles per hour. I haven't done the cheese yet, but I know that it, uh, it's really good to get a pitcher uh, diamond really fast on the road to the show glitch. So if you guys are wondering, wanted to get a pitcher up, cheese will be a, a very good option for you. So um, I haven't really seen anyone using a speedster. It's just, you're not gonna have really good hitting stats there. Painter could be a good starting pitcher, but you're just not gonna throw as hard. Uh, Filthy could be a good relief pitcher as well, but the best one in my opinion would be cheese. And as we move through here, Slugger will have kind of like a Frank Thomas type build. Really bad speed and really good power. So Slugger, if you guys wanna have that amazing power and that's all you care about with a little bit less vision, go with Slugger, but the best ones are going to be spark plug and uh, slick fielding as you move to slugging to like slickster and iron man so spark plug iron man slugging slickster kind of the best archetype builds that you guys are going to roll with but if you guys want the best one go with spark plug move to the hawk you guys will get the best hitting stats out of any ball player in this game now i'm going to move to road to the show to show you how to upgrade your player in road to the show all right guys so i went over to road to the show and i want to show you if you are confused on how to upgrade your ball player even more so yes you can get your ball player really good by just getting the diamond archetype and also putting on equipment and perks but you can get his stats a lot higher by playing road to the show and if you guys were confused well i got you covered here so um what you want to do is you want to come to road to the show obviously and just play you get these training moments like this one where on off days you get them you get a lot of them throughout the season pretty pretty much what i'm saying so uh, you can see here it says what would you like to do now you can upgrade your hitting stats as you guys hopefully my stuff is not blocking it here but as you can see once you get up to 50 out of 50 on contact or whatever stat you're pretty much maxed out now I'm a couple away here as you can see maximum value 50 so as you move all of these through 50 you guys will get the best stats maxed out for your ball player so practice field now one thing I showed you guys earlier that I needed was my arm strength my arm strength is really bad it's at 30 arm strength that is my guys arm strength right now 30 now I'm probably gonna upgrade my guys arm strength right here because I think I need it right so I'm at 33 after this upgrade as you can see and you really want to get all of these to 50 because then it will max out your ball player stats as you progress and through road to the show so you might see players with some crazy ball players well they actually played and grinded road to the show because you can get it a lot better here so I'm gonna go with arm strength upgrade that a couple points and boom if I go look at my stats my arm strength is probably gonna be a lot better so um, there you go you just upgraded your arm strength I don't want to play any more of this road to the show so I'm just gonna exit out of this but I I wanted to show you guys no, get out of this screen oh my gosh get out of this screen please there we go so I wanted to show you guys how that worked though so if we come back over here I don't remember if my guys arm strength so it looks like it might have upgraded one point actually I'm not entirely sure but it should have upgraded a little bit so as you get as you play through road to the show and get those training moments your stats will significantly go up and keep going up so I uh, kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of a breakdown and the best archetypes on on this game mode because uh, really it's really confusing they left it really really confusing so I hope I answered some questions for you guys and if you guys are wondering how to do the road to the show glitch I have a video on that it will be down below in the description and in the comment section as well but you can pretty much get all of these stats by simming games yes you can sim games and not play and get all of these stats so if you want to know how to do that glitch like I said it will be down below but I'm not going to show you how to do it in this video because I've made multiple videos on it already and I don't really want to show you here so I think that is it hopefully I am not forgetting anything but I do want to show you actually one more thing here all right guys so if you were wondering how to buy equipment and perks you want to come over to the community market and go over to equipment and perks and this is where you can purchase some of those perks now I want to show you a really good one now this is legendary call it is a very very good ritual the best one in the game it gives you plus eight contact and power so right now I bought mine for about 45k so it's significantly cheap than what I bought mine for so I would suggest you guys go and uh, take advantage and buy this right now because it's, it's really cheap so you'll get that
at eight contact and eight power. It's probably gonna be up around 40K by next week. So take advantage of that, but you can also buy a bunch of other equipment in here. So uh, just so you guys know that, and also I wanna show you on perks. Now you guys might be wondering how to get perks. So there's actually not a lot of perks up for sale, but if you guys wanna know how to buy perks, you actually, on these ones that cost zero, you'll come over here and you'll go to create buy order and just put one in for about one stub higher than the other order. And then you'll be able to, that'll probably sell to you within five to 10 minutes. So it's a little confusing, but hopefully I answered enough questions for you guys in this video because this is one I've been waiting to make a video on because it is so damn confusing, man. So uh, if I did help you out, uh, make sure you guys do drop a like and make sure you guys do uh, hit that sub button to the channel. These are my perks that I'm using. I'm using speed one, power one, fielding six, I believe that's six. So hopefully I'm not stupid and fielding seven, I believe. So the Hawk, like I said, is gonna be the best hitter. And if you guys wanna know my, uh, my equipment, I am just using Jackie Robinson cleats. I'm using Jackie Robinson socks. I'm using Jackie Robinson's bat. I'm using his bat grip. So like I said, go finish that collection. I've got the workhorse compression gloves. Those are really good. Uh, these really don't really matter. Legendary call, you're gonna need that one. And I've got the Nike compression sleeve. So I've also got the Oakley uh, glasses here. This one's really good. But anyways, guys, that's hopefully answers all of those questions here in this video. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Like I said, drop a like, hit that sub button if you're new. We're trying to get to 10,000 subs by the end of May. And hopefully we'll get to like 15K. Hopefully we're around 15 k by the end of may but anyways you guys you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and lights in out